Hi! The objective of this video is to show on how to convert the image to text to speech in just 10 minutes using pure HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. We are going to discuss on how to use the plugins such as camera, mobile OCR, and text to speech. Function Take Photo, Navigator, Camera. Welcome back to our channel A3D Learning, where we share our personal simple working projects. But before we dive into the coding, let us discuss first the design overview. We have four functions in this application, Capture Image, Browse Image, Image to Text, and Text to Speech. The user interface is designed using pure CSS. Capture and Browse Image functions use camera plugin, Image to Text uses mobile OCR, and TTS using Text to Speech. The phone will take photo. Once captured, it will then be converted to text if there are texts embed in the image. This text will be displayed in the screen. Browse Image This is similar to the image capture except that it will browse the saved image from your phone's gallery. Lastly is the text-to-speech. User will click the speaker icon. It will check the status of the speaker. If it is currently off status, it will toggle to on status and vice versa. Let us discuss the HTML side. The interface is made up of three parts. First is the header which shows the title. Next is the result, the text extracted from the image. Finally, the footer. There are three buttons in this section. The camera button, the browse image, and speaker that speaks the text. Make sure to install the following prerequisites. Now it's time to create the project from the start. As usual, open the CLI and create the Cordova project. This will create the folder on the directory you specified. You can change the directory. We are going to search in the Google the plugins that we are going to use. Don't worry, I will include the links below for your reference. In the installation section, copy the code as shown. Paste it in the CLI. Next is the mobile OCR. You can do the same procedure. Do this in the text-to-speech plugin as well. As you can see inside the plugins folder, the three plugins were successfully installed. Open the project in your preferred IDE. Please also observe this, the plugins were also added in the package JSON file. We will update the HTML file first. I have created already a working project beforehand, so I can just copy it and paste it in the newly created project. I will copy the code inside the div wrapper tag and paste it in our new HTML file. I have explained this part in the design section. Move on to the JavaScript file. Copy the entire JavaScript file and paste it to our new JavaScript file. I will explain each function. We need to declare variable for the result element here. This is referring to the text area element with the result ID located in the HTML file. The camera ID is also the ID of a camera button in the HTML file. When it is clicked, it will call the take photo callback function. This is the take photo function that called the camera plugin method navigator.camera.getPicture. We can set the quality to 100 and correct orientation to true. When the capture image is successful, the OCR plugin will be called. It will select per line of the captured text. Those lines are saved in an array. In order to combine all the lines to a single block, we can do for each loop. The combined text is then put to the text area. 
Next function is the browse image. Once the browse image button is clicked, it will then call the browse photo function. These are the options value we can set. Some common settings are 20, 50, and 100. You can play the other settings as well. Once the image is selected, it will call the same function as the function used in the take photo on success. The value of the is toggle variable is set to false initially. When the to speech button is clicked, the following statements will be executed. Toggle the value of the is toggle variable. Call the toggle function. This function will hide and show the speaker icons on and off. Then the text to speech function. It will accept the is toggle parameter. If the value is false, put a value of to speak to blank. When the is toggle is true, it will read the text that is inside the text area. We will move on to the CSS. The background of the body uses a linear gradient style. The div wrapper display is flex. This is the div tag that wraps the three sections. The header style, so the font color is white. This is the header section. And this is the header title. And this is the result style. Footer section with three buttons inside. This is the size of the icon. And this is the style of the buttons. Let us try it in a live server to see the interface. It seems like there are some errors. Okay, let's find the error. Mm -hmm. There are no images saved in the folder. I forget to save inside the image folder. We will reload the page and voila! There is an official documentation of the camera, OCR, and text-to-speech. You may try to read and explore it if you want to learn more about the plugins. Once the interface is okay, we can now add the Android platform to our project. This will take a couple of minutes to install. Once you're done, build the project. This will generate an APK where you can install to your phone. Copy the APK file to your Android phone. And install it to your phone to test. Click the camera icon to take picture. You can take picture of any object with text in it. Click the speaker icon and it will read the extracted text. Function take photo. Navigator. Camera. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you like it. And subscribe to our channel. Click the bell button to be notified of our next videos. If you have comments or suggestions, please feel free to comment below.